name's Gilbert. My name's Nathan. And I'm Patrick. Remember, you had something to say, and then I was going to cut it out for us. Hello, everybody. I'm Gilbert. My name's Nathan. And I'm Patrick. We're going to be discussing Pascal's Law and Effect. We're going to be showing the relationship between area, pressure, and force. Uh, in general terms, if we have increased pressure and constant area, we should have an increased force. In turn, with increased area and constant pressure, we should have an increased force as well. So to demonstrate this, we have a one-inch cylinder of which we're going to be inputting 300 PSI of fluid into it. We're expecting 235 pounds force output. Then we're going to double the pressure, and we in turn expect to have double the force. So at 300 PSI, we get a reading of about 220. I'm going to crank that up to 600 PSI. And we'll get a reading of about 420. Okay, now we're going to be observing a 600 PSI applied to a one and a half inch cylinder. We were expecting about 1,060 pounds of force. We got about 910, 920. We're going to crank that down to 300 PSI. We were expecting about 530 pounds of force. And we got about 420.